Garrett, and then TJ on the right who plays Chop Chop. And this is our heroes, um, Martin Warman and Scrumbly Coldwin. And uh, Scrumbly is currently the musical director of this production. And Martin passed away in the early 90s, but he was the lyricist for many of the great musicals by the Cockettes. Uh, Hot Greeks, which was done mm -hmm. recently uh, yeah. at Thrill Peddlers. Which was also exciting and yeah, pretty Martin, fabulous, too. Yeah, Martin penned that. And he was a dear friend, so I was so, so grateful to be able to see a production of Hot Greeks. This is one of my studio portraits, uh, my friend Stafford, and uh, we're always playing with gender mix-ups. I love you know, that. I love yeah. the boots and the, uh, it's, what, it's like chiffon or something. Well, you know, you mentioned uh, as we were going through these, Mark uh, Eustace, and you have a, you go back a long time with him in creative stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, so what, how did that relationship start? It started in the Angels of Light, which was okay. the theater company that grew out of the Cockettes when the Cockettes disbanded. There was actually a split because the Cockettes wanted to charge money at the door and the Angels wanted to stay free. And so by the time I rolled into town in 75, the Angels were still v vital and, and performing. And both Mark and I sought them out and worked with them uh, at length and still do to this day in a way, even though they formally disbanded in 1982. So you came, you, you came from New York to San Francisco, but that was for to go to SF State, I think. Is that Correct, right? yeah. And then you actually got to work with uh, Harvey at the camera store on Castro, and was it Scott, his partner yeah, in the yeah. store? Yeah. What was the name of the store? Was it just the camera store? Or no, something? Castro Camera. That's what I thought, <laughs> yeah. 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 So you, you did know him, you worked with him, uh, you know. Uh, well, I don't want to get too much of that, but it was an amazing. And he represents so much to uh, pretty much all gay, lesbian, transgendered people in this in the world. Maybe you know, he, he was an amazing man, and your relationships profound, Thank as you. it was seen in the movie Milk, the Academy Award-winning movie. Yeah. Milk. yeah. Well, you know, Harvey and Scott were big fans of the Cockettes, and they did go to those shows. And, and Harvey used theater in his politics a lot, so there's a definite connection. They love that stuff, and they would come to shows that I would work on with the Latter Day Angels and Latter Day Cockettes, and, and uh, so the the spirit of it continued, you know. And I like to think that he would have been coming to Pearls Over Shanghai, and uh, would have loved your exhi exhibition oh, last yeah. week. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I think we're just keeping up the sort of legacy. Yeah, I mean, it was an exciting time, you know. I mean. San Francisco, it's still exciting. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, people, some people say, they're always telling me, oh, <coughs> don't you miss this or that? And, uh, Honey, aren't you going out anymore? You know, I mean, mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. happening everywhere. Yeah. It mm -hmm. looks different, but it's the same feel, you know. It's bursting with energy in the city. I was just at Training Shack for the Susie Sue night the other <laughs> night. Oh, my Lord, nothing, yeah, nothing's quiet around here. <laughs> I know, and, there, and there's lots of events going on almost lots every night. Lots of events. You know, Training Shack being one, of the, and Peaches and Christ. Peaches and Peaches Christ. I'll know. be lap dancing for Peaches Christ at, at the Showgirls night. Showgirls Night of a Thousand Showgirls. And when is it coming up? that is going to be at the Castro Theater on Saturday, August 7th, and it's an 8 o'clock show. She no longer has to do the midnight show because this is going to be at the Castro, not the bridge. And uh, with every free, every large popcorn, you get a free lap dance, and I will you be know, one of those lap dancers. It is to me really outstanding that Peaches, this will be her second event at the Castro. Mm -hmm. Now it's prime time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, again, somebody who's just worked and worked and worked, mm -hmm. like Hecklina had did, like mm -hmm. all of us do, I mm -hmm. guess. You know, mm -hmm. and you, there, I read a quote, or I'm going to paraphrase a quote by you, Danny, in which. Uh, Somebody said, was it exciting being part of the history and all that? And you said, we didn't know it was history. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the story of our lives, isn't right. it? You know, we're just living and having as good a time as we can and being, gosh darn, ordinary people. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. But uh, just living, being part of, you know, and it's amazing what comes out of just people having a good time. Ordinary people with more glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a lot of glitter, you yeah, know, yeah, and glitter. it's so much fun. Mm -hmm. you know. So who else are you watching? Um, I'm watching Pepper Spray, the okay. reunion of the drag band Pepper Spray, and I'm going to be performing with them on Friday, August 20th at the Drag King Contest. 
wow. another exciting event coming up. So Pepper Spray kind of got back together again for, um, they did a bunch okay. of reunion shows just this last month, and they're going to perform again at the Drag King show, and uh, Precious Moments is in it, moments. Jordan, Jordan Lamore, Lamore. Uh, Princess Kennedy, mm. and Peggy Legs. Wow. And their shows were great, and we're going to um, perform at the Drag King show, and we will be the all-girl in boy drag backup go-go dancers. We're calling ourselves Salt Lick. I love it. I love it. Well, we're actually running out of time. It's gone by, and I wasn't looking. Uh, can we? Do we have time to look at a couple of Nancy's pictures, or are we... I don't know whether that's going to come up. Going to have to bring you back. That's okay. Going to have to bring you back. You've seen my pictures. I have, but I, you know, they're they're fabulous. But they are. What I've got is kind of. I maybe it was all done by you. I'm not sure, but I think that there's other things that have been done in other venues and other productions. But the best pictures of me have been taken by Danny. Well, you <laughs> she's got, one you of got my, the Rolls Royce. One of my favorite that. supermodels <laughs> in the whole world. And she's so nice. She's <laughs> such a great gal. You know. At any rate, I really thank you for coming by again tonight, and uh, love your work, both of you. Please come back again. And keep thank doing you. what you're doing, Stu. Thank you. Thank you. Time? <laughs>